What's up YouTube? It's your boy Gene from Grey Matter Games. We're back with another video. It's a little bit of Fall Guys. For, you know, we're going to do a new segment called uh, Fall Guy Fridays. And as you could tell, Imperial Storm 51 is in this group chat and he will be joining us from here on out in most of these videos. Imperial, say something. Imperial Storm 51. First time actually talking on one of these videos. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Honestly, this is new to both of us. So if it sounds like we're struggling, bear with us. Eventually, this is going to become second nature. He's going to be one of the partners that we're going to have on this channel when we start talking about lore. We're going to have a lot of lore in this channel. He specializes a lot on things like Skyrim and Fallout. I, I like Fallout, but I, I'm not a Skyrim Elder Scrolls type person. That's going to be more on him. I specialize more on comics, but hey. You know, just uh, get familiar with his face. And by face, that little bean. Peanut. Bean, peanut. I, 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 don't, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Maybe I'll call Bonzo Bean. Who, who cares? Let's go. Oh let's go. Ready up. Let's go. Andale. Andale. Andale, coño. Let's go. Oh, well, that, there goes for that for kids. I just said coño. Well, too late. Too late. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. They won't know what it means. What? Eventually, guys, you're gonna see a third person in this chat. His uh, his gamer tag is uh, Steve May. You gonna you gonna see him. You gonna you gonna drop bangers. He's also a pretty big uh, nerd like myself when it comes to comics. But uh, we're all big fans of the Souls franchise, so you're gonna see a lot of Souls play. I haven't decided if it's gonna be a live stream Souls run or just a let's play or both. I don't know. But get ready. Me and Imperial Storm are going to do a lot of deprived builds on all of the Souls games with the exception of Sekiro since there's no multiplayer. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware, unless uh Yeah, no, I don't think uh, Demon Souls has it, but eh. Well, we'll we'll figure something out. Exactly. We'll just exactly. we'll just take the crappiest build. <gasps> Move. Break the ankles. Break the angles, boy. Move. Oh no 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 everybody running like a damn sheep. Yep. Hey I made it, let's go. Stop that cheese. Get this cheese dude out of the way. Move 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 from everybody here. Oh everybody here looking like they're running away from like I don't know, police, border patrols, I don't know. Running away from drafting, US drafts. Oh. Oh no. Yo, this dude's the Undertaker. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, no. Yo, look at how everybody's making this run and we out here struggling. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I made it. I mean, well, I didn't make the. I didn't make the. Did you? No! Bro, how are we struggling on the first map? You know what's sad? You're ahead of me. And there goes three. I am. Yeah. This man has a Ghost of Tsushima skin. Yo, what? That looks lit. Or at least it looks like Ghost of Tsushima. Also, there's a donkey skin over here running around. Eh, not surprised. I made it. Oh, I didn't cross the line, but. No! I'm trying to get the hammer to hit me. The hammer of justice! Oh. I think my chances are just. Yes! Oh, no, 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 I made no, the no, 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 Oh, I think sorry, it just speeds up the it. moment. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Bro, no. I don't think we're going to make this. Still submit. Yeah, probably not. Yo, oh, how, are we, how are we struggling? Oh, it's just no, the first dude. thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Move no out of the way. No side. Oh, there you are. I'm right behind. No. Oh, they were both sitting there stalling, ready to cross the line. Oh my god, they ain't no needed. They're not needed in here. Oh my god. Yo, this man got a crown? Little little crown skin? Whatever. On to the next one. It is what it is. Next. Yep. I feel disrespected. We couldn't even get through the first stage. 
What is this? I have no idea. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think they'll do it. But since Epic Games is controlling this game, just like Fortnite with the little collaborations, they got to throw a Gotham Knights bundle pack in here. Throw a bunch of Gotham Knights beans. Whatever these yeah, characters are. I mean, why not? Honestly. What's stopping? Red Hood and then a little body. It's going to be the mm -hmm. talk of the town. I ain't going to lie. All right, let's ready up. Let's see what's going on. What is Sweet Thieves? That's a new game mode? <laughs> Anniversary Party? That's another new game mode? Wait a second. What <laughs> is that? About to hit ready up. Honestly, oh, Fall Guys is a fun game. Uh, for those that haven't ever played Fall Guys, I don't think it's a game that I personally would play by myself, but it's a perfect party game since Xbox and Sony can't seem to make a deal with Nintendo to try to get freaking Mario Party over here. But exactly. outside of that, I think this is practically as good as we're going to get for Mario Party. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And honestly, like... You're going to find that in this channel. I love battle royales to a degree. Like, I like them if it's a reasonable mechanic. Uh, Imperial, he's not fond of battle yeah. royales. Look, I, honestly, I, I have no idea how I get roped into it half the time. <laughs> you know what's weird about this dude is uh, he talks about how he don't like them. And sometimes, and by sometimes, lately, most of the time, he's becoming pretty clutch on games like Fortnite games like a warzone even one day he could be terrible shooting in warzone but he's a pretty good spotter or vice versa and sometimes like he'll just be better than me and yeah he'd be like i hate these game modes i hate these game modes yet sometimes he outshines me which is insane <laughs> i like battle Look, royales as long as it makes sense those moments. Yep. Yep. fortnite i've always hated fortnite i never think i'd ever like it and well things changed Along um, comes the Spider-Man update, and boom. Yep, yep. Religiously for the however many months it was up. And now it's just been every bundle after every bundle, coughing up some money. <clears throat> oh my At least god! It's cheap, but still. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I guess it depends, because some of these bundles be ripped off. Nah, that's true. Everybody is a menace! Oh, I thought I was gonna slip it. <gasps> the door closed on me at the wrong time i got through let's go don't move 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 yes yes hey. yes listen it is what it is hey as y'all can see at the top samurai platanos the gamer tag and oh my god i think i just messed up i forgot to say <laughs> i forgot to mention the new viewers oh damn well well i mean <laughs> if you've made it this far Gray Matter Games is everything gaming from game to gameplay to let's plays to streams to lore discussions to predictions on what we want or do not want from a game franchise like <clears throat> Call of Duty or more like Call of Booty, but it is what it is. Anything gaming, you name it, we got it. Or at least we're going to try to get it. 2022, 2023 is going to be a good year. Me and Imperial Storm, we got a lot of games ready to go. Res uh, Resident Evil 4, when it when it gets announced for the pre-order, we're going to be right there to pre-order. We got Callisto Protocol. We got uh, Call of Duty. Twice. We got... We <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to get Street Fighter. I'm a big fighting fan. I love fighting franchise. So you're going to see a lot of fighting content over here. And... Uh, go, uh, I almost said Ghost of Tsushima. Wow. I meant to say uh, Gotham Knights. Imperial Storm has Gotham Knights as well, so he's going to also be playing with me when this game comes out. We haven't decided who's going to be our mains, but definitely we're going to do multiple different runs with different mains. Yep. Is this a coconut? This was a coconut. Well, he Maybe. was a coconut. <gasps> Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi. Yo, I almost flew out hey, the map. Oh my oh, wait, god, I can't sword. make it. Oh, no. I can't make it. I'm flying in the room. <laughs> Yo, Sound this like a skill issue, my boy. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Man, got jokes, huh? Man, got them hey. jokes. Oh, look at that. Looking like a skill gap issue right over there. Well. <laughs> yes, sir. Made it. 
If it isn't the consequences of my own <laughs> 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 Well, I got knocked from one pole into the another. Pause. Ooh. Wait. Oh, no. Hey, I'm here. Let's go. Bro, they got me spinning in circles like Pete Davidson's relationship with Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Bro, I can't get past this. What is going on? <laughs> Yo, I think it's over for me. Yo, it's over for me. Oh, let's see. Yeah, he's over. Oh! Well, I guess it's up to you to finish this, me boy. It's up to you. Don't choke. You know what they say. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. <laughs> well, depending on how this uh, next match goes, we'll, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, look at this dude. Dude got a little gladiator skin at the top, right? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, he looks like a full blown gladiator. Huh. Guess I missed it. Oh, oh, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. You're gonna notice that there's gonna be games that we're gonna play that he's gonna be better than me at, and then there's gonna be games that are definitely significantly in my lane. Um, I said before I love fighting games, and I say it to this day I love Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, uh, any Dragon Ball <laughs> games, any Naruto games. I love them, but there's one fighting game that this man's not trash at. And he'll admit it, trash. He'll wait. He'll he will he will annihilate me. Okay, he will annihilate me to say it in the most nicest way. For honor, I suck ass, straight ass at for honor. Yep. Outside of that, fighting games is usually like my domain. Mm -hmm. We both love Call of Duty Zombies, which, honestly, me and uh, me and Imperial Storm were planning on eventually. Get a couple more friends and do a couple hot takes on where we personally would rank zombie maps. Because a lot of these Activision Shields, a lot of these paid uh, YouTubers, they, they have some hot takes that are, honestly, I wouldn't say they're right. <laughs> yep. You know, I don't want to say names, but, you know, one of the many YouTubers we, uh, we used to watch or we still do watch is... Uh, Mr. T Lexify, and this man still be praising Girl of Kroby like it's the best map of all times, and I beg to differ. Yep. I, I think Just, it's the worst Easter yeah. egg in terms of like bullshit that's needed. And mm -hmm. the only the good thing about Girl of Kroby, I thought the dragons looked cool, but they're a pain in the ass. And I thought the map looks great, but that's a pain in the ass. And for whatever reason, what is it? If I'm not mistaken, they got Panzers in this map, right? You got little panzers yep. in this map? Look at look at that. Little little panzers. Look, look at that. Yeah, they get the Russian ones. Yeah, so, so uh, Yeah, that's <laughs> that's great. Honestly, I I I, I hate Crovy. I don't think it's this. the worst map, but it makes me want to look back at Black Ops 4 a little bit and reevaluate some. Mm-hmm. Right. Ah, come on. Somehow our team's winning, but also, uh, you know, Imperial and I, we kind of share the same ideas when we come to certain games. Like when it comes to Call of Duty, we're not eSport gamers. We're not professional gamers. We are fans that have been fans for the longest. My first game was World at War. I don't know what his first game was, but I know definitely it wasn't Advanced Warfare. Yep. And we've been in this Actually, franchise since the was... Golden Age. Pretty sure that my first one was Call of Duty 3. He's just beyond me. So that probably don't count. That's beyond <laughs> me. I, I, yep. I played World at War, then went backwards and played COD 4. Mm -hmm. Either and way, I, continue. I remember 3, and I think it was on the Wii, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> Either way, we both agree. You know, uh, we have our shit um, in different orders, but we both agree Vanguard is probably the worst COD. We think Call of Duty Ghost is the most underrated COD. We think now that the pandemic's over, or at least mostly over, Cold War is not as good as I thought it was in terms of zombies. Um, and Modern yeah. Warfare, Enrique, um, I'm, oh wow, I said his name, wow. Imperial Storm, <laughs> he likes Modern Warfare 2019. I don't really like it all that much, but I gave him my reasons why I don't like it. He gave me his reasons. We agree to disagree, but one thing we do agree is, Going free to play with Modern Warfare was probably the down the downhill. 
this franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, he got smacked by a banana. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, th I thought you were gonna get smacked like that kid in the anime. I got killed oh, by the log. Oh, <laughs> What's the goal? Friendly. Are you supposed to make it to the end? Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Try to get to the little covers. Oh, my God. He's getting sausage by fruit. <laughs> getting manhandled by fruit. I don't get it. The good thing, it's a good thing he's fruity instead of getting hit with some glizzies. Hey. Don't change it. That doesn't change the fact. Come on. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't think you're making it, bro. It's over, bro. Nah, it's over. Hit him with that Narnia. I, will try. I mean, not no, I'm gonna say Titan. Narnia, I'm gonna say Titan. Oh, no. <laughs> I made it two rounds past you, so. Hey, you're right, you're right. See, this is evident of uh, moments that he outshines me. I had no expectations of this, especially considering last, last time. I, I just kept getting eliminated first round. Didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> I, I, we, we did a practice run like a couple of days ago, or I think it was yesterday. We did like a practice recording for this. And, and this man kept getting eliminated in the first round. And it was probably one of the most easiest of the first rounds that could have been thrown our way. Mm -hmm. and the worst part is, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah. Like, I understand if I was, like, maybe one checkpoint away, but nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait for uh, our, our third friend to join us. These uh, these game chats are going to be interesting, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, one thing that I was wanting to do with Imperial Storm in the future, um... As we all know, not only Gotham Knights is re re uh, coming out in October, but the new DLC for uh, Village will be releasing. Uh, I believe that it's the right time to replay Village. Maybe the hardest difficulty, who knows? Replay Village yeah. and honestly give our opinions on it now that it's been a little over a year since the game came out. Give our opinions, play the DLC, and review the game as a whole. And see where it stands, because before Resident Evil 4 comes out, I do want to basically go through all of these remastered slash new games that have released. And similar to Call of Duty Zombies, kind of rank them. Where do they go? Were some of these games overhyped? What could be fixed? What should be avoided? Etc. Because I like Village. Yeah. I like Village. But I think one thing that was missing from Village is the atmosphere. I think that's what made Resident Evil Biohazard so special. Is that it was a horror atmosphere whether you like the mechanics or not the the situation that presented itself in the story and the tone that the atmosphere was giving you it matched it matched it felt like a scary horror game which is what it was advertised I would say Resident Evil Village advertised as a horror game it did not feel like a horror game it really didn't mm -hmm. it just felt like any other first-person shooter story campaign to be honest a little bit of horror. Yeah. I think if it wasn't for inventory and herbs, I don't think we'd notice that it's Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. On top of that, especially towards uh, closer to the end. Er, well, at least one of the missions it just straight up turns into a Call of Duty mission. So. I mean, literally, when you're Chris Redfield, yeah. yeah. And and it doesn't help. Have to worry about oh. And just. Yeah, no, Damn. Damn. I just slipped off this platform quicker than my chances with women. <laughs> oh, oh no. But, um, yeah, my also thing was the bosses. I thought the bosses were disappointing here. Like, the, the, um, the biohazard bosses, they were simple in terms of, in terms of design and mechanics, but it was the atmosphere plus the recurrence of those bosses, especially Mr. Baker. That was hey, yo, they got a cup mm, head. Yeah. It huh. was it was things like Mr. Baker that although he was simple in, in mechanics, Mr. Baker was also relatively annoying and hard because he would show up at the most terrible times in the most scariest of moments. And that's what gave that vibe of 
Oh shit, I'm about to get screwed in here. Lady Demetrasque tried to be Mr. Baker in the castle, but nothing ever felt the same. It didn't. She wasn't as aggressive. She wasn't as. She didn't carry that demeanor. I mean, hey, I love mm. Lady Demetrasque, but she was basically a meme. You know, yeah. nothing about her was scary. And it didn't Except help. For, uh, you know, yeah. Transformation, but even then. It was gruesome, but it felt like yeah. something straight out of Game of Thrones. In terms of a dragon. And it's like, honestly, what didn't help was that you promoted Lady Demetresk and you only used her just a little bit. Exactly. And it didn't help that if you kill off her daughters real quickly. Yeah. If anything, I could have swore I remember hearing something like they were originally planning on uh, limiting her role, but they just weren't expecting like the amount of uh, amount of people be like, hey, yo. Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting that. I think it was supposed to be a minimal role. That's why. It, that's why I think the beginning area. That's why it was, uh, you know, kind of kind of dry. Quick. Yep. Yep. So uh, they kind of had to do a last minute thing. I mean, shame on Japan. Like shame on Japan and shame on Capcom. You introduce us a fine woman better than almost any of our wives or girlfriends or anything, and you expect us <laughs> men to calm down. Oh, How no. dare you! <laughs> yep, yep. Honestly, I don't know. And I, and the story itself is honestly, there's there's problems with the story in general. I made a video on my previous Resident Evil talking about how Ethan Winter isn't a realistic protagonist, and I'm not talking about his goop monster. I'm talking how he reacts. If you have not seen your wife in years. And you get a random anonymous video that she's in some homeless looking Texas Chainsaw Massacre bootlegged house. You tell me you're going to save her? Nope. 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 I'm leaving. He's not worth it. What are we doing? What, what, what is this? I have no idea. Oh, I think we're supposed to get... Oh, hoard all the balls. So I guess we have to keep the balls to ourselves. Pause. Oh, no. One... Oh, no, no, no. Look at the little samurai dude over here trying to take our balls. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All here. Keep them all here. Oh, no. Look at little here, blue red. man group looking motherfuckers. Get out and, then and then pockets red. Oh, no, no. Gang bang. I mean, double team. I mean, boss. <laughs> Oh. oh no, no! We got two okay. balls. We got thirty seconds. No, no, no! We got two balls. We cannot Take be eliminated. Got to make it to. Oh, yo! These blue people got too many balls. The blue people are worse than. Yes, yes! Three balls. No. They took all our balls. No, 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 no. It's over, bro. It's been a, it's well, been a pleasure. It's, it's been uh... good. Unless... No! Nah, never mind. How do, we, how do we have none? No! God. I hate team-based just... missions. I hate them. Mm -hmm. I hate them because we just have some incompetent players. Don't get me wrong. I'm not all that competent either. But, but, but. Incompetent, none of the less. Exactly. I mean, I, sure. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't until the last like ten seconds that I actually figured out what we were doing. But yeah, yeah, yeah those uh, <laughs> those incompetent teammates, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, back to the thing about the whole like uh, the Ethan Winter. Like he wasn't realistic, you know. Like I, I didn't, I didn't think he was realistic. I also thought the way they handled Chris Redfield was very ridiculous because Chris Redfield in the previous storyline from the first Resident Evil going over to where we are, he's a hero. He's known for stopping Umbrella. He's known for a lot of things. Yet they haven't established why Umbrella has reemerged in this new universe or new franchise or new timeline or installment, whatever you want to call it. 
And now it's no longer Umbrella like the bad team. Now they're good Umbrella. Chris works for Umbrella. And most importantly, where's our protagonist, Leon? Where's Leon Kennedy? Where's Claire Redfield? Where's Mr. W uh, Wesker? Where is all of these original characters? They're not here. They haven't established whether or not this is a sequel to the original games or if this is a brand new reboot. Reboot. They haven't said anything. All I know is Chris is a hero in every game. Yet, for whatever reason, even in Resident Evil 7, he was a hero in the DLC. For whatever reason, he's like a complete dickhead in Village, killing Mia in the very beginning. Of course, I get it. It's a monster. It's a clone. I get it. But don't you think you would have liked to have told Ethan in the beginning? Hey, Ethan, uh, so your wife's not real. Uh, that baby's a, 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 has powers. Like he, he said something ridiculous in the lines of he didn't want Ethan getting in the way. First of all, that's his baby, regardless of how you sliced it. Number one. Number two, didn't they say in the beginning of the game, and correct me, Enrique, um, Empiricorm, if, if I'm not wrong, but didn't they say something about that? This, this man went through some training? They put this man through exactly. training? Yeah, it was like, what? Anywhere between one to two, like, two to three years or something. Right? Like yeah. So it's like, it don't make sense. Like, the man clearly knows what to do, yet you're not using him? Right, bro, everything that's happened in Village throughout the game has been all result to Ethan. Ethan did more work on, on, on the Village than Chris did while he was investigating. What did he say? He said, we've been on this case for like five years. Oh, oh, so you didn't notice that the house that we killed in Resident Evil Biohazard, she wasn't dead. Oh, you, you, you didn't re- oh, oh, you've been working for five years and you didn't tell me about it? Like, that wasn't important enough? Exactly. And then they never explained wow. when did Mia get swapped. Mm -hmm. Right? She was just randomly in jail. Exactly. Like, none of it makes any sense to me. And I feel like as much as I love Resident Evil, I think I only play it for the creatures, the guns, the atmosphere, and occasionally the lore in terms of like, like, ah, oh, who thought it was a good idea to create this monster? Like, what the fuck? Outside of that, mm -hmm. I don't really care anymore for a story. I, I I feel like Biohazard was the perfect story. Although I didn't agree with the intentions of the hero, overall I think it was the perfect story. Whatever reason, I, I Village was worse, you know. And I think I should have saw that coming when you had the chance to save Zoe or Mia at the end of Biohazard. Like first of all, I thought it was stupid enough that the hero would go back to go get this woman, okay? You know what I'm saying? And if anybody knows Andrew Tate, that man would have said something about how much of a simp Ethan is. But, yeah. but, that's not the case. What I was also going to say is, when you do get the medicine, they really expect you to save Zoe? I mean, I know she helped me. Don't get me wrong. Respect to Zoe. But, I went through all of this for my wife. You really think I'm going to just not go get my wife after i've gotten what is it my arm sliced and stuff exactly i mean sure i guess you can make the argument it's like hey oh we have, have to defend the candy oh crap i don't know what do we even do is something with a key we we are they, invisible? they took our they took our candy i think we were supposed to defend oh, no. the candy another team-based oh, no, game no, no. no! Oh, oh candy give me that candy <laughs> wait am i supposed I to roll this I have no oh, idea what we're doing. I think we're supposed to kick this. No, yo, this dude is a ghost. Uh, the no. candy theft is a ghost. Eesh. Oh wait, I think he's trying to put us in jail. It says three in jail. I, I don't there know. There. These okay. are close to winning. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this game mode is. We probably already took an L here. I mean, either way, this yeah. was our last run at Fall Guys. So, I mean. Crap, if we get eliminated, we get eliminated. I, I thought we were all boys. Why are we yellow? All my boys are trying to grab me. Oh no. Get off me, boy. Get, uh, get off me. Oh, look at this candy theft, dude. Come here, boy. You captured a theft. Oh, we have to capture them. Oh, it's not even oh. about the candy. Just touch them. When you see them appear, touch them. Oh. Where are they? Damn, they've already got all our candy. We need to prevent them from taking all the candy. So now I get it. Now I get it. There's two candies left. We need to protect these candies. 
They're, they're up here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Send that man back to jail. Send them back where he belongs. No, no. Get your ass. Come here. Oh, wait. What the? What the f no! Well. Well, it is what it is. Well, mm -hmm. guys, that's... Uh, <laughs> Are they, you know what they say in uh, Looney Tunes. <laughs> that's all, folks. Um, yeah. That's uh, that's our first uh, Fall Guys Friday of the day. We're gonna have more of these yeah. in the future. If you guys like the content, subscribe. Hit the like button for some support. Hit the bell for notification. And if you guys have any recommendation on other games you'd like to see me and Imperial Storm get a crack at, let us know. We're gonna be doing a couple Let's Plays here and there, but we're just gonna be, you know. Doing what we feel. That's the point of the channel. Doing what we feel. We'll choose something that sticks, something that, that's good, and we'll run with it. But we also don't want to get bored, so we want to pick things that we feel like playing that day or recording. Exactly. So until next time, we'll be out. Peace. Yeah.